Hello, today we're going to be going over terror bird rushing and speed hacking and how to prevent them. So let's get into it. So basically what we're going to show you is how to prevent terror bird rushing and uh, by preventing terror bird rushing you can also prevent speed hacking in the same ways. And we're going to use the pack cave as our example because this is the most likely place you're going to, the enemies are going to need to use uh, terror bird rushing. But of course it works in other caves. It's just easier to prevent it in other caves because you have a uh, much higher, you can place your turrets up much higher. Alright, so real quick, we'll jump, we'll show you this first part that'll mess up some speed running. I'd all dissuade terror bird rushing just a little bit, but uh, not as bad. Alright, so basically when you're speed running or hacking, speed hacking, right, they have to have a straight line of sight. So they can come out here, get ready, and then uh, use their speed hack to push and run through here real fast. Uh, this first part might be a little difficult for them because they have to be able to line up perfectly, not just end up in one of these walls, uh, to get you back here and blow your turrets up. Now keep in mind, there are no perfect methods. There's no way to completely stop something from happening. There's only a way to slow it down so that you can get out there and defend your base. You have to be online to stop any type of rushing, okay? So if you're not online, it doesn't matter what you do. All you, You're just going to slow them down and then eventually they'll get in. All right, so to slow down the speedrunner and mess up Terrorbird, you can stack your foundations going up like this. All right, so we can pop a couple of foundations in front of the cave like that. And now, as you can see, I can step up on it. Well, as a smaller character, I might not be able to. Might be because of those rocks right there. Let's see. Yeah, so I can't step up on it here. The problem is, is these rocks right here allowed as a ramp and give me my step up. So you want to get above those rocks and uh, create a point where they can't just step up, where they have to jump. All right, that prevents them from speed rushing. Now, of course, they can speed rush to this and blow it up and then do it again. But again, this is all about slowing them down. And of course, when you set these up, you want to be very careful not to LOS your own turrets. So like you can sit here and hide from turrets and then just stand up, shoot at them and drop and hide. As you see, we place these in a, the right spot. If I place them any further up in the cave, though, they become an LOS issue. It's here the ground already does the LOS, right? So it doesn't really matter. But if you were to do that again up here, you can create a, an LOS issue. All right, and I'll go ahead and show you with the terror bird. As you see, if you hit a foundation that's completely up out of the ground, they can't step up on it. They have to jump. All right, this slows them down just a little bit, but it's enough if they're getting shot by turrets to uh, really help out. So this may not be perfect for the pack cave in and of itself. This isn't just about the pack cave, right? Uh, because of the pack cave, you can just come over here before, and then work your way in from here and then start doing your run from here. Uh, so anything you do out in front of it is probably not going to help that much. But if you have a bigger cave, you can use these. As long as they don't LS your turrets, you can use this system here to create stopping points for the terror bird and for players. All right, and then of course we'll create some more stopping points and show you those as well. So how terror bird running, terror dawn running, any type of dino running works because you go ahead and pull out your rocket launcher and then you go into first person view. Right now you have this out, and then you mount your dinosaur. Right now you just notice I'm in third person view, no rocket launcher pulled out. But if I get off, my rocket launcher is pulled out, and I'm in first person view. So what this does is it allows me to run as far as I can on the terror bird until the terror bird dies, or the pterodon dies, right? And then when it dismounts me, this is immediately pulled out, and I can just start spamming my fire button if I'm against the turrets. The only reason the terror bird running method is so effective, or... Later it'll be the Dionychus uh, and, and Pterodons, depending on your cave. Uh, the reason it's so effective is because of how good of armored blueprints we get now, right? You have armored blueprints with like 1,200, somewhere between 12 and 1,600 durability, which is just insane. Uh, that's like, <laughs> that was very rare in Ark Survival Evolved. Now everybody has access to those. So it's very easy to get into bases now. All right, Terror Birds aren't even really, I mean, they're fast, but they're not that fast, right? But they get through most, uh, they can get through almost every cave opening. All right, so how this works is you'll have a line of players on terror birds, right? You probably have five to ten players all on terror birds, all with their rocket launchers pulled out like I showed you, so that when the terror bird dies, they can have their, they will instantly have their rockets pulled out. Now, if you're in the back of the line and you you think, you know, you're probably, you're sure you're going to survive, you've already done this once or twice and you know you're going to survive, you can go ahead and pull your rocket launcher out and run in first person view with your rocket launcher, and so you'll be on the terror bird able to fire off the back of the terror bird. But if you do that and put it away and dismount, now it's no longer pulled out. So you really don't want to do that unless you know for sure 
Now, if you have it pulled out while you're on the Terror Bird and you dismount, it's still pulled out. So that's just some important tips there if you're on the uh, reverse side of this. All right. So the idea is they sprint through here, right, on the Terror Bird, get to the end, get close to the end or something like that, the Terror Bird dies, they get knocked off, and then they fire the rockets and blow all your turrets up. All right. So how do you prevent this? All right. It's pretty simple. We showed you the foundation trick, but that can create LOS issues. Uh, this trick can too, so be very careful with it. Basically, the trick is they can't terror bird run past railings, right? So you just need one railing high all the way through. As often as you can place these, place them right on railings, and that's pretty, and that stops speedrunners as well. Okay, now they have to blow those up. So now they come running through the rockets to blow them up. This is the tech. I've shown you how you can damage these, how much damage they can take and stuff in other videos, but we'll go ahead and show you here. Alright, one. It's going to take two rockets to get past this railing. Alright, now they're going to have to do that for every railing they come up to. Uh, so the more railings you have going lined up through here, or anywhere your base is, the less likely they are to get their terror birds past it. Alright, so go ahead and show you. The terror bird hits it, it stops, it has to jump over it, and then stops, and then jumps over it, and then stops, and then jumps over it. And as you can see, we're really reducing the speed. Alright, but that's just one method. So what's another method of stopping the terror bird and, uh... Well, this won't really stop speedrunners. Uh, the only thing that's going to stop speedrunners is this right here, the railings. Alright. Railings, railings, railings. This is going to stop the speedrunners from coming through. They're going to have to blow up the railings all the way through before they can, uh... Fully speedrun. So everywhere, so... As far as the turrets fire, all the way up to the turrets, railings. Alright, only one high. If you go higher than that, you create an LOS issue. Unless your turrets get high enough, that doesn't create an LOS issue. In the pack cave, that would create an LOS issue right here. Maybe not later. Uh, Alright, so... Because uh, what the speed, the speed hacking does is it moves the player so fast that they can be up against the turrets before they're really firing. Oh, or they've been firing very long. So there's not a lot you can do to prevent them from destroying your turrets uh, using the turrets. All right, but <laughs> right, the turrets are going to be another method for stopping terror bird runs. All right, so one of the ideas behind riding a dino in and blowing it up is that most players, and for good reason, the turrets are going to be set to players and tames. All right, that means it's going to target tames first. It's not going to target players first. So it's going to kill your ter terror bird before it starts really shooting you. So what you do is you get some turrets up high. All right, and just a disclaimer here, it's not going to work great in the entrance of the pack cave for this. You don't want to have very many turrets on uh, players only. That's what we're about to go into is players only, all right? So you may want to have like two, maybe three turrets on players only. Like maybe those top three heavies on players only in the pack cave. You may want more than that. You probably want up to ten turrets on players only. Most of them should be tech turrets. All right, of course, all your turrets should always be set to fire at the highest range. So you go into settings, and you'll find this here. Change targeting from only survivors or tame creatures. And you would put that on just survivors. And you'd want four or five techs on just survivors and four or five heavies on just survivors up high. So that it's shooting them on the back of their terror birds while they're trying to run in. And, of course, if you have some tech turrets set to uh, players and tames as well. Those tech turrets will shoot the terror birds as well and potentially slow them down and even knock them backwards. Uh, so that's another method for slowing down terror bird runs. Um, you do not want to put a whole bunch of pillars and other weird cage things in front of your turrets. Uh, if you're going to cage, the most you're going to do is double door frames, which so the turrets can still fire past them. But as you can tell, double door frames aren't going to stop terror birds. Only the only thing that's going to slow down and stop terror birds are going to be these railings. Alright, terror can't run over these railings. They have to jump these railings. Of course, if you don't set your gates up too close, look, see, terror birds can just jump over them if you don't set enough of them up. So, you, terror bird can use this jump to get past uh, just a couple of railings set up like this. You would want more railings back to keep that from happening. And if you know, and if you notice, the terror bird doesn't really lose speed when it jumps. Uh, I felt that jump there, but you know what I... Anyway... Alright, so if you are in the pack cave, this is kind of your last little area to hold the cave. Right, or it drops down to this big hole here. You got this wall back here. You can put all the turrets on it if you want. Um, of course, you should spread some turrets around on the ceilings as well. They should not all be piled up into one place. 
right? But having the turrets on the back wall there gives them the maximum distance to the crouch point, uh, keeping them out of range of tech rifles, uh, so which is only important for your tech turrets. Um, so you may want to just go ahead and have your heavies up on the ceiling spread around. All right, but what we're going to show you here is in this room is really hard to deal with the terror bird rush in this room. All right, so as you can see, you do rail you can do railings and stuff all the way down the line, and you know put as many down as you want, uh, probably as many as you can. <laughs> but where the issue comes from is the crouch point itself. Um, this point here stops most dinos from getting in. Trikes can put their head in here and soak, and Stegos can put their butt in here and soak, but I don't think they can get through here. A trike might be able to. Stego shouldn't be able to. Uh, well, they shouldn't. I mean, this is a thin blocker. You can kind of push them past it anyway. Um, so well, the point, the thing here is though, terror birds can, I mean, right here, they can launch from right here and fly <laughs> all the way to that wall. Alright, so, the only way to prevent that is to put railings up, but you better be online because you're only going to be able to get a couple of railings between, uh, here and here, right? Uh, it, and then of course they can be tech raffled down if they are, are smart at raiding. They'll be able to just tech raffle those railings down real quick. So terror birds can be very devastating in this cave simply because they can do this. And they're all against this wall. Alright. <laughs> and, and you saw how fast I got over here and moved over here with a really good flak and, and a high hit point terror bird. Terror bird might die right before it reaches the turret, but my uh, the momentum should keep your character moving. And they'll just be able to blow these a huge section of this wall up with the rockets. So as you can see... All those rockets are gone. Well, that was not satisfying at all. It's more satisfying in Ark Survival Evolved when you do that. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. So, and as you can see, the tech turret survived. Um, so, tech turrets would be better on here. And your heavies would be better up on the ceiling. So, this would be kind of like a little update to the uh, pack build video as well. Due to uh, the Terror Bird's ability to fly a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we have this little test area set up with two tech turrets. Let's shoot this terror bird to show you what happens when a uh, terror bird is getting shot by tech turrets. Just so you know why they're a good defense here. As you can see, the tech turrets are able to push the terror bird back as it tries to kill me. So it, it will definitely slow the uh, terror bird's speed down. Making them much less useful. If you don't have tech turrets, uh, you, you know, expect terror bird rushes to get through your... Uh, your heavies. Right, yeah, but as you can see, so tech turrets are great. And it does the same thing to players. So, uh, yeah, so this is a great way of pushing players back, too. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Have an awesome day.